Good morning, and we will be checking a CO2 measurement on a bottle of wine. The items we'll need for this is a carbon doser. Um, they usually come in kits. Inside the kit, you can find a um, 100 ml cylinder with the special fitting on top. You'll find the piece that goes into the 100 ml cylinder. It's a straw that you'll be putting inside to close it off and you will shake the cylinder. Usually a temperature probe or a thermometer comes with it and some pipettes. Then the other thing we'll need is an unopened bottle of wine. A lot of times this check's done when we are doing bottling analysis. Um, the other time you can do this is after you spark the tank in the cellar, just when pulling your sample, be very careful when filling a bottle up, just because you don't want any exposed air or any loss of carbon dioxide. All right, so we'll start out with our chilled sample. We'll gently pour this into the cylinder. We will give our sample a rinse, and then once again, we'll gently fill this up to the 100 mil mark. If you exceed the 100 mil mark, Use a pipette to remove any wine that you need to get out of there. Check your meniscus to make sure it's 100 mils. And like mentioned, if you need to take any out, just use a pipette. Um, by doing this, it will not affect CO2. So now we will put our straw in. It's closed off and sealed. We'll put our finger over this hole right here on the top. And then we will shape this real quick. Doing this, we'll remove our finger from over the hole, and this should, we'll see wine released, and we will continue to do this until there's no more flow of wine out of the cylinder. Have luck. This test is a little messy when doing it at your winery. Be sure to do it over a sink or out in the cellar, somewhere where it's easy cleanup. As we see, no more wine is coming out after that. So now we will go over and take our measurement. So when doing this, we'll have a little foam in there, a couple couple tricks to get the foam out. You can use a pipette or you can either use a little bit of ethanol as well. While we're waiting for the foam to calm down, we'll go ahead and take our temperature of the wine and we will look at the volume after we take our temperature. 22. All right, looks like we're at about 23 degrees Celsius for our temperature. And our reading looks to be Maybe about 74 mils. So, with our temperature of 23 degrees Celsius, 74 mils. We'll come over to our chart. We'll find our mils. 74, 23 degrees. Go over, and it's off our chart. So, this bottle of wine looks like it is at 1400 mils of CO2. Um, for a bottle of white wine, that's a little bit high, but 
that'll be okay since this wine is coming is a nationally marketed wine. It comes from overseas, so it helps prevent oxidation of the wine and help keeps the wine fresh. Once you're finished, um, go ahead, discard the wine, and go ahead and clean up.